I really wanted to get on to, whilst we're um, removing centralized actors from auctions, um, we're, we could also talk about decentralizing Ethereum. There's, uh, there's always this question of, is Ethereum centralized around Vitalik? How do we decentralize Ethereum? Mm. Yeah, well, actually, I think there has been a huge amount of progress in decentralizing Ethereum already. Yep. Like, for example, if you just look at all of the uh, concrete governance actions that happened in the last 12 months, um, Number one, like a lot of the features in the Constantinople hard forks that are launching in January basically happened without me. Yeah. Uh, number two, issuance reduction from 3 Ether to 2 Ether, which is going into Constantinople. I was not involved at all. Uh, number three, the um, Ethereum uh, quote 1.x stuff, these uh, short-term scalability improvements that are going on to the main chain before we can switch over to sharding. That whole effort started without my involvement at all. Um, the... Uh, efforts um, even around like uh, imp um, Casper and sharding. Like I'm heavily involved in writing the spec, but the actual implementation is being uh, done by something like five different teams that um, are all like basically doing the code and uh, that are all increasingly actively uh, contributing to the development of the spec. So, I mean, I would not have been able to confidently say this 18 months ago, but I really do feel like the community is kind of capable of acting autonomously at this point. That's really yeah. powerful. I mean, that's definitely not to say that I'm looking at disappearing. That's yeah. like, uh, that's the thing that the trolls generally tend to interpret me saying yeah. when I say things like this, but I'm definitely not disappearing. 